Welcome to Hoffman's Hot Seat. I'm Tom Hoffman with One to One Media, and joining me today is Nicholas Dekuchowski, Chief Marketing Officer for Alcatel Lucent Enterprise Applications. Today we'll be speaking about trends in workforce optimization. Nicholas, thanks for joining me today. Hey, thanks for having me, Tom. Nicholas, what trends are you seeing among customers with regards to workforce optimization? What are some of the factors that are driving these trends? It's a huge focus on either cost cutting or doing more with less, depending on the context of the enterprise. And all this is putting on the spot workforce optimization technologies as we still have a, in, in most contact center a situation where cost of personnel represents typically uh, 75% of the overall cost. What is different though this time is that if I want to contrast this economic downturn to the previous one, it's not just about uh, cost cutting or uh, improved productivity, what we see is that there's a sustained quality focus. And the fundamental reason is that uh, enterprises do recognize that the name of the game is to offer great customer experiences to customers and as part of customer service. So uh, what enterprises are trying to do is, of course, get the most out of their resources, cut costs uh, if possible, but do it in a way that will not impact the quality of the experience that they are providing. Now, how are economic pressures leading organizations to distribute their call center workloads differently and more efficiently? Well, there's uh, a number of trends that we see are being accelerated by the current downturn. Number one is the notion of uh, contact center consolidation. A lot of enterprises are trying to leverage technology to, to get the pooling effect across all the centers that they have. Number two is the um, extension of the call center approach to other channels and or resources that may be sitting outside of the contact center. So it's typically experts, but it can be uh, as well employees of branches. Number three, what we see is an interest, and this is completely new, to actually uh, use and adopt the contact center best practices in the back office. And this is typically in the context of a back office that is in responsible for processing some customer-related activities. And from a Genesis perspective, we've seen a phenomenal traction of our intelligent workload distribution product that is typically addressing that specific need. So as a follow-up to that, is that causing organizations to have to apply training, contact center process training in the back office as well? Well, as we move beyond the contact center, what we see is that those departments usually do not want to function like a, uh, like a call center. So there is a transformation that needs to happen that consists in, in taking the best practices of call centers and adapt them to the context uh, the uh, specific department. Once this is defined, we go into a phase where there will be training indeed on how to leverage this type of, of new technology. And typically, the, the type of projects we engage with are projects where there's no measurement in place on how the work gets done. We have a manual allocation of the work to the various employees, and there's a a very poor appreciation of the different types of uh, skill sets and what the talents, what talents are available. So the very first thing, once you understand how you can leverage contact center based practices in terms of measuring the work done, making sure that we allocate the different tasks to the right people and ensuring that the customer processes gets uh, done in a timely manner and according to service level. So, once we have that, we need to educate the entire department on these new ways of working. Interesting. So what would you say are some best practices that you would offer to fellow marketers to better optimize their organization's call centers? I think the growing lead, the name of the game is evolving and, and revolves around integration. So we've talked in the context of trends on one dimension of this integration, which is an integration across departments. It's how you can tie together different departments or different centers that are all doing contact center type operation and how you can extend the contact center to other departments and uh, ultimately translate the best practices 
as a contact center to other customers facing operation. The second dimension of integration is along the, the life cycle of workforce optimization, what we call plan, manage, and evaluate. So this is a life cycle model that we introduced two years ago. Typically, the, the planning ties to uh, workforce management. What we see is growing, it's not only about trying to forecast the, the, the capacity required in terms of uh, people and, and finding what's the best schedule for those people. I think what we see is the big impact relies on the ability to manage the talent pool. The second thing is that uh, historical tools in that domain tend to be bolt on on ACDs and a kind of work around the Q model of ACD. And what we see is that the best practice is really to provide tools and a model to optimize resources that is built around those resources and which take all the resources, all the agents in the contact center, all the knowledge employees outside of the contact center, look at the various talents and skill sets, their proficiencies, and uh, based on that, organize uh, the planning. So this is phase one of this life cycle for workforce uh, optimization. The step two is about managing in real time uh, those operations. And what we see is that the traditional model which is about measuring the so-called adherence of those resources, has to be replaced by a much more comprehensive monitoring of the, the, the total customer service operations, which can span across multiple departments, certainly across multiple geographies and applications. So the ability to consolidate in real time a view of those operations to align all the stakeholders of the organization to a concept of role-based views into those operations to enable those people at different, in the, from different part of the organization to take action when the real life conditions are not what, what we thought they were, to maybe shuffle uh, resources around, find out new centers, new department that can contribute to an exceptional situation. So the, the name of the game to the second step is about managing in real time the operation, is about consolidating a global view of the operations to enable real time action. And finally, the third step is about evaluating. The traditional quality monitoring model we think needs, uh, needs to evolve. This evolution has started with speech analytics, but we need to go uh, beyond that. The first thing that needs to happen is that we need to look at the performance of either agents or workers, depending on the department, based on the actual outcome of the interaction. And as well, the interaction should be redefined as being the interaction from the customer standpoint and not from the operation standpoint. In many cases, in centers, what we see is that the calls are defined as a segment of the call from a customer perspective but from a customer perspective, this true experience is an interaction that comprises multiple calls. So what's critical is to be able to tie together the different calls or different types of interaction that may use different types of touch points of channel between the enterprise and its customers, tie it to the outcome and analyze the effectiveness of the uh, interaction through these lenses. And this is what we do with our InfoMark product. The, uh, that being said, quality monitoring is still important. We actually uh, OEMing from uh, Zoom International the quality mo monitoring application so that we can augment our native SIP coding capabilities. And we, we've discussed earlier on the, the trend to uh, consolidate the, all the applications that help optimize the workforce across centers and departments. And certainly one of the things that enterprises are trying to do is to centralize in the data center not only those applications, but as well recording. And this is creating a huge demand to actually leverage SIP to centralize recording into the data center. Genesis has been on, that, on the forefront of this trend. It was very natural for us to augment the nice architecture uh, that uh, we can offer with a quality monitoring uh, application. That's what we think is, is the best practice, is look 
at the workforce optimization as an integrated set of processes for the organization across one of the different departments that provide resources or may benefit from those type of optimization and two, across the life cycle of resource optimization, what we call plan, manage, and evaluate. Very good. Well, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us, Nicholas. Well, thank you for having me again.